Yes, I have makeup on for the first time ever in any of my videos. My sister taught me how to do that and I think I'm cute. Don't look too hard at it because it's not well done. Uh, this video is brought to you by the letter M. Just kidding, it's sponsored by Michaels. Ah! <laughs> I know, right? Can you believe? So Michaels asked if they could sponsor a video and I, I was like, Psst, Psst, Michaels, you don't even, you don't even gotta give me anything that let me talk about you. I would just do that anyway. I love you. So like, let me get a bunch of new stuff to do a new painting and many, many more paintings because they've got this new program that I'm genuinely super stoked about. And it's specifically geared towards people who have small creative businesses like me. I have one of those. Or organizations or anything else that needs like bulk creative supplies. And when you have a small art business, you know that you spend a lot of money on supplies, especially painting services. I go through painting services like bananas. It gets pricey if you get expensive, especially if you want like nicer high quality things to paint on, be able to sell. So what they're doing with this Michaels Pro program is they're selling bulk art supplies and the deals are mind blowing. These are great canvases. I've worked them before. They're the artist loft uh, professional level canvases and they can be very expensive. This was $20 for just one. But with Michaels Pro, I've ordered 12 pack of this. Actually, it's a little bit smaller. This is a 11 by 14 and they're gonna be a nine by 12. A 12 pack of these really nice high-end canvases for $60, it's like 58.94 or something like that. And I get 12 for 60 bucks, that's $5 each. Normally that size that I'm getting would be $17 each. If you do the math there, that's insanely cheap for canvases if you get them in bulk with Michaels Pro. It's like mind blowing. So Michaels Pro stuff is only available for online order. I wish they were here to show you, but they're not gonna be able to get to me in time for this video, but I have them coming. Um, and on top of that, they let me get some more fun stuff so that I can make a new painting. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? These are Georgian oil paints. I have never heard of them and they were incredibly reasonable. I've heard of Dalarani, but I've never heard of these oil paints. From what I could tell from like the reviews and stuff, they seem really high quality and this was only 35 bucks. And these tubes are massive. I was like, oh, 35 bucks, they'll be like five little mini tubes. No, these guys are huge. I'm gonna open them up. These giant paint tubes. I mean, they're not huge, but like compared to like the little paint tubes I normally have for stuff. Oh, this came too. But like, look at the tube size. I thought they were gonna be this big and they were this big. And so it comes with titanium white, lemon yellow, rose matter, in parentheses quinacridone, primary cyan, and raw umber. So like these are colors that I don't have. And so I was really interested in getting these to do my painting for this video. And they came in these giant sizes, so I hope I like them. I think I'm gonna like them. Look at those. Oh! So I'll let you know if they're like really good, they're super reasonable. And you know, Michaels always has some kind of coupon, so they're gonna be even more reasonable if you get them there anyway. And just like, you know, you like walk into a Michaels and like, it, I just have like all of these childhood memories because like Michaels was like my favorite store. I have all these childhood memories of like walking into Michaels and like, it just felt like magic. Like, especially during the holidays when I have all their like decorations up or during Halloween when it's like all spooky and fun. And, oh, I have such fond, vivid memories of shopping at Michaels as a kid. Okay, back to haul. New brushes. These are also incredibly cheap. These were $10 each, but they look gorge. Like they're beautiful. They're um, Royal Langonickel. Langonickel. So I got um, this set of just some essentials and then these are, uh, I always forget the name of this kind of brush. Filbert. So I got two different packs of those. I think they were $10 each. They look nice for like how inexpensive they are. They've got this like really nice matte handle and then like a pretty like firm bristle, which is something nice. I like it soft and synthetic, but it's like firm. And I didn't have any long handle brushes. I have a couple, but like long handle brushes when you're doing bigger paintings are a little bit easier to work with. And I do mostly small paintings. So I was like, uh, better get some bigger brushes to be able to make a big painting. <laughs> Most of my brushes are real tiny. So I needed some big ones too. I got, I'm so excited about this soap. Soap for my brushes. It's pink soap, I've never used it before. I've used Master's Brush Cleaner, which Michaels also has, um, but I wanted to try a new one. Um, and then I'm <laughs> excited, I got a color wheel. 
if you've watched my videos, I've always been like, I reference the color wheel, especially when you're trying to mute down colors. Like whenever I say something like, oh yeah, purple's across from yellow on the color wheel, I like have to second guess myself and be like, wait, is that like actually thing? And now I have an actual color wheel, so I don't have to second guess it anymore and I can put it up on my, my little wall and be able to remember what the color wheel looks like. And I got it in English. Thank goodness, because uh, I didn't specify what language I wanted it in, and it would have been bad if it came in like Japanese. I'm gonna take this out of its little thing too. And tell you what, like I don't know that much about color theory and the color wheel, so maybe this will get me inspired to like work more with that. <gasps> Look, oh my gosh, that is the cutest ever. I got, actually, I got another one of these. Cause guess what, Michael had a buy one, get one. They're the best. <laughs> so the last thing I got, which, you can't see Oops. this little cart. I'm gonna have to tilt my camera down. It is a little rolling cart in mint. Also, they had like a hundred different colors for you to pick from. I almost went for coral and rose gold. And it is gorgeous. When I get all of my bulk canvases to store them in because I would show you what my studio around away from the camera looks like, but it's literally a nightmare with zero organization. So maybe this will help me start to be organized for once in my life. So stoked, so stoked. I'm so excited for this. And look how cute that color is. This was 30 bucks. Like no joke, $30. Oh my gosh. So all of the links for all of the supplies are gonna be in my description in case you're curious about any of them or wanna pick any of them up using that crazy same day delivery service or curbside pickup or whatever you want. Um, but I'm gonna get to painting. So it took me a second to get used to mixing up these colors because I'd never used them before. And I wasn't used to this red not being quite as powerful as I'm used to with other red colors, but these colors ended up being really pretty. I super love how they ended up. I had some cool tones for the darker parts and then I wanted some like really warm, bright reflections on the top. And then I went in with the darkest color to start drawing in my little uh, shadowed parts in my waves with one of these flat brushes, which was awesome. These like, Royal Langenickel, however you say that name. The br those brushes turn out so awesome to work with. They're just firm enough so that they like hold their shape when I'm putting the paint onto the canvas. And they're like soft, so I'm able to like smooth things out. You'll see me a couple times with one of the bigger Royal Langenickel brushes. Royal Langenickel, I can't even say their name. I'm able to smooth out my oil paint so it gets this really nice, soft, blended look. And those brushes did freaking incredible for that. So I was stoked on that. The canvas was solid. It felt so good. And I mean, like I've used this canvas before. I bought it because I love it. And I bought 12 more on their way because I they're wonderful. But it just, you know, held up to my expectations, held up super nice, was super smooth to work on. I forget how nice it is to work on canvas. I don't do it very often because they're expensive, but it feels so good. I love the balance it has and that a, it has a little bit of texture. It's really, I love it, love it. So it turned out absolutely wonderful. So I started taking some of those more smaller detail brushes that I'd gotten and I was wanting to add the highlights on to the top of this water to get it like really sparkle in. I wanted to be the sparkliest little painting I'd ever done. And it was gorgeous. I was a little worried about the titanium white that came with these uh, Georgian oil paints, but it was super opaque and super gorgeous. If you want me to do a full tutorial of this painting, let me know, but this is just a quick overview to show you how my, my fun stuff came out and this painting turned out beautiful. I am over the moon about it. it look, it's just so, it turned out so gorgeous. I am so happy with it. Look at my happy face over the moon about how it turned out. I'll see you in the next video.